Mike, thanks very much for joining me this afternoon. Um, first question I'm asking all of BMA's affiliates and, and members when I do these interviews is, what's the state of play uh, for, for Lyrical? Um, well, Lyrical Communications, so we run and manage the installer brand. Um, uh, understandably, as with everyone's business, the last three months has been a challenge. Um, and um, from a media owner's point of view, we have face-to-face -face events, digital offerings, and, and, a, and, a, and a print title. So, um, yeah, print title has continued to, 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 do, its, to do its thing. Um, we will um, print the next issue um, early next month. Uh, understandably, face-to-face um, -face events have been off the agenda for the last three months or so, and we were um, uh, sat in the middle of uh, the dates for, um, for installer, the installer show, um, which was in the middle of lockdown. Um, we felt at the start of lockdown that a pushback to the end of the year felt right. Um, over the course of the last few weeks, understandably, again, um, it feels uh, uh, a, a little, um, uh, a little like that. We need to, um, we need to, we need to move it again. So we've decided to move the installer show to the 11th to the 13th of May, uh, 2021. Um, one of the things that we um, have managed to accelerate though is our digital offering which um, which has um, which has come to come to fruition through a uh, an installer festival which ran last month so yeah lots of exciting things um, lots of challenges but um, uh, but yeah we're, 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 we're getting out of the uh, we're, we're, we, we see light at the end of the tunnel and and the opportunities for the industry as a whole is um, uh, you know seem to be uh, looking up yeah, you, you um, mentioned the, the Insula brand um, there, which is obviously one that BMA members are particularly familiar with. Um, what, what? Tell me more about the the digital festival uh, offering that that's both been been and gone, and and what you've got in the pipeline. Yeah, the the the, the festival we ran last last month. Um, it ran over two weeks. Um, the the reason for doing that was to to provide a uh, concentrated two-week um, series of activities to bring the industry together when um, some were not working as much, some were trying to understand about um, going back to work, there was an opportunity of learning. So it brought together um, thousands of plumbing and heating engineers, it brought together over 50 brands across the plumbing and heating space, um, and we we pref well, the, the, the festival provided an opportunity for a number of actions. So that included competitions, virtual training, debates, um, how-to videos, um, pub quizzes, all sorts of different um, elements. And that was it, it provided, as I said, it provided the sector with, a, with an opportunity of coming together at a time where face-to-face -face events were obviously off the, um, off the agenda. Good stuff. And um, what's coming in the, the rest of the year with the, the absence of the installer show until next May? Well, we've, the learnings from um, the installer festival last month have, have given us confidence that there is, um, there is a space and a place for these concentrated festivals. We'll be running four over the course of the next nine months. Um, we'll have some quite broad brush, broad based um, sessions in September, uh, but the next one we we host um, uh, the 13th and 17th of July, which, which is concentrated on net zero. So that's looking at issues around sustainability, around water efficiency. Um, it's looking at um, government legislation, and and that is about about education for the for the in, the plumbing and heating engineer um, about what the what the next set of opportunities might be, the next set of products coming through, and also, as I said, tied, tied into that legislation, legisl legisl <laughs> I'll start that again, that legislation piece. 
Mike, um, that, that's brilliant. Uh, delighted to hear that you're including water efficiency under the banner of net carbon zero, because that's one of BMA's messages, actually, that, you know, sustainability uh, and the, the green recovery needs to be broad. And actually, water efficiency does equal carbon saving. And there's some some compelling data out there that, that proves that. And that's uh, something which we're keen to take to government. So it's reassuring that you're spreading that message with installers too is that is there going to be a, a a kind of green recovery strand to the main installer event when it comes around next year yeah i think it's a it's a, it's a good point about the, the net zero festival and you know and and, and the bma uh, you guys will be involved um next month and and i think that theme and that um, the, the 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 green agenda around net zero is becoming more important for um suppliers within the heating and plumbing space, but also becoming more important for the installers themselves because they see that as a message, as an opportunity, um, and obviously that feeds into the consumer as well. So there's a, you know, there's a supply chain piece there that that we think is important, and we need to keep emphasising it um, in order to um, to to highlight the good work that the manufacturing community are doing. Mike, I really appreciate your time this afternoon and uh, best of luck with the uh, installer series going forward for the next 18 months or so. Super, thanks.